Hello and welcome to our video. This is our BMW 420D Grand Coupe M Sport with the eight speed auto sports transmission. The sports transmission has the paddles on the steering wheel. This car's finished in estral blue metallic. It's covered 15,711 miles with full dealer history. It's a one owner vehicle going to take you around the car I'll just let you know that this car was registered on the 18th of the 12th 2019 so this car has approximately 23 months of manufacturer's warranty remaining on it we've also fitted some lovely black gloss grills we've got front and rear parking sensors and I'm going to bring you in close so you can see that the front bumper on this car doesn't have any nasty marks on it there's going to be some very small chips. I think there's a little tiny one down there, look. But all the headlights, the grills, if we come up along the top here, you'll see there's no, there's no nasty chips on the bonnet or anything. Obviously, it has been on the road for just under 12 months, so it's going to have something somewhere, I'm guessing. I'll just come up onto the windscreen. There's no, uh, no chips up there either. The whole car's been detailed, machine polished, both rotary and with a orbiting mop. We've got the 704M 19 inch alloys with M Sport brakes and Eagle F1 run flat, run flat, run flat BMW, uh, BMW approved tires with plenty of tread. We've got the black gloss insert on the side the uh, black gloss trim around the windows. We've got sun protection glass. I'm just gonna pan back out so you can get a good look at the car. And like I say, I'll point out anything, any little chip or anything, but just to bring you in nice and close, look. We've got little lights under here as well. The bodywork is beautiful. There's no ding dents, there's no bird dropping stains or anything like that. There's no scratches. I'll show you the rear wheel. No marks on the wheels. Rear bumper. Got the LED lights at the back as well. Just come up onto the top of the tailgate here. No scratches. No, nothing along here you'll see. And the top of the bumper, nothing on there either. All of the exhaust pipes are nicely polished. Nothing around there. And uh, on these later ones, the uh, the bottom of the bumper, they've changed it. So you've got this like rear diffuser section now, the little bits on there. Just gonna come up onto the roof. Just show you, again, no scratches, no marks all in beautiful condition. And uh, all of the black gloss trims have also been polished. Let's bring you along the side of the car. Show you this front wheel. Again, Eagle F1 tires. Just come back to show you. Estral blue is such a lovely color for these Grand Coupes. And uh, we've got the black Dakota leather inside, really nice contrast. Okay, so inside the passenger front door card with the brushed aluminium door handle, black gloss finisher at the top, no marks on the door card. We've got the Harman Kardon sound system, which uh, gives you additional speakers, one being up the top here in front of the professional navigation. Just show you all around the edges. Lovely and clean. The guy, look, even under here, look. We've got the puddle lights as well. Beautiful condition. All the Dakota leather. The brushed aluminium in the center here. The pro media. We'll jump inside the car in a second to show you uh, 
in the back here. Rear door card on this side. Again, puddle lights. No scratches, no dents from seat belts or anything here. All of the back of the seats in lovely condition. Headlining and uh, all of the lever in the rear of the car. All in lovely condition. Okay, so we'll come around to the rear. So we have electric tailgate. Press of the handle and up she comes. Also, you can open the tailgate with the key by pressing the bottom button and you can shut the tailgate with the key as well by pressing and holding. All the carpets in lovely condition, as are the parcel shelves, both in there. I've checked the other side of that one and underneath all the carpets in here. Lovely. And the locket wheel nut should be in here as it is. All nice and clean in there as well. So like I said, we'll press the tailgate as the keys in the car at the moment. Now this car has the two litre diesel engine. So it's approximately 190 brake horsepower. They're superb on fuel, these cars. I'll just show you this rear door card again. Notice that all around the car is exactly the same. No marks. The guys do such a good job, both Peters and Dan. They've both got their special areas that they work on. One does the outside and one does the interior. So they really are focused on the job. Driver door. Again, all under there, lovely and clean. We've got the folding anti-dazzle mirrors, which is an extra. Press this button here, the mirrors fold in. Again, that can be done with the button on the key fob. Black Dakota leather seats. The electric bolsters that blow up the sides of the seat. Auto headlights. Jump in. Just shut this door. You see the mileage 15711. So down on the steering wheel, this button here, the mode button, have different uh, views for either your DAB radio, and then you can flick through whichever channel you want to put it on. And uh, you've also got FM, AM. Music collections, the hard drive, 80 gig of hard drive, so plenty of room in for uh, anything that you want to download into the car. So the Pro Nav, now the later one you'll notice is touchscreen. And the nice thing about this is you can change where you want them to be displayed. So you can configure it just how you want. Um, down here we've got dual climate control heated seats I'm just going to show you we've got the uh, a little note in there for the service it's going to be done which I'll pop that back in there so all the servicing is done by a BMW um, specialist locally and it'll all be inputted into the iDrive which I'll show you in a second you can write on the top of the iDrive wheel here We'll start with the service that I just mentioned. So the vehicle's just come in. If we go down to vehicle status, over to the left, this car runs with Add Blue as well. So your Add Blue is in there, tells you your remaining mileage and how much you need to put in, etc. So service requirements, it's due, it's oil change, which is just about to be done. Brake fluid isn't due till 2022. Front brake pads are plenty on, as do the rear. Um, sorry, I've gone into the wrong bit. So we go, so it's due its first service. In fact, um, 
it's got 150 miles, so it's going to be on time, so that's good. So that will conform with the warranty, etc. Got your eight speed gearbox down here. We've also got the parking display. So you can see front and rear of the car. Turn that off. Now this button just here, the Eco Comfort, we go into Eco mode. This will change the ECU settings for the power of the car and this will put the car into a more economic driving, makes the throttle a little bit less responsive. We go into comfort, which is like a neutral setting. Also the weight of the steering wheel, I believe, um, is affected by this as well. And then we've got sport, which will open up a bit more power, a bit more responsive when you put your foot down. You can have sport displays, you can configure it into pounds per foot and horsepower as well. And then if you go into Sport Plus, the um, traction control, the DTC is disabled, but the DSC is still operative in the car. So you still get a bit of uh, support from the driver aids. So we just come back up here. So what I did notice, looks like we've got yep so we've got the remainder i think it's a three year subscription this has got the connective drive so you've got things like weather radar there's a few apps and uh things in here it always takes a little while for it to load but you'll see in a second it's raining outside and there it is miserable winter in england anyway you'll also see in there Amazon Alexa, would you believe? They get everywhere, don't they? Right, we'll come out of there. Um, if you press on the menu button again, you can bring the view out. We've got all your communication in there. There's a lot of information in these iDrives. It's quite easy to use. It's, um, you know, even if you don't read the brochure or the handbook, should I say, you can find your way around here quite easily. The navigation, if we go down to map, or you can shortcut, to map with the button down here. If you flip over to the left, you've got different views, different sub menus. I'm gonna show you one of the things that you can do if you have the in direction of travel. Using these buttons here, I'm gonna use number seven, you can assign these buttons to different windows, not all of them, but a lot of them, and you can assign telephone numbers to them as well. So we could have perspective, which is as the crow flies sort of thing on number eight and then if you want to flick between views especially in built-up cities where you want to judge the next turning it's a lot easier to look at it from that view and uh, I think I've pretty much covered enough in here I don't want to bore anyone so we're going to jump out and have a look under the engine bay oh before I forget we've got the speed limiter cruise control here Obviously your onboard computer to turn the car back into sport or comfort. Uh, your speed limiter will come up there and traction control, uh, sorry, traction control, cruise control. And then you can adjust with this button here, the speed that you want to set. So it's two pulls on the bonnet release. And then you can just lift the bonnet. Now this is where the guys really excel. A lot of this is done by hand. Obviously engine bays get very dusty and we like to show the cars off in the best light they can be in. You see this is all cleaned mainly by WD-40, a nice safe product. The twin power turbo, which I believe is two inputs of, um, two inlets should I say, on the turbo to give a much smoother and more responsive uh, drive. So the turbo spins up quicker. Beautifully clean under here. So a beautiful looking car, a very practical car with that big hatchback. I'll just come out and show you the car again. You can see a snapper ox color in the back. In the background there beautiful color just come around the front like i say no nasty marks beautiful looking car 
please give me a call. We're operating under click and collect. We can still do finance for you. And most of the time the documents will be sent to you via email. But uh, any questions, give us a call and we'd be happy to help. Thank you for watching. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.